So, earlier today on January 26, 2020, a legend died. Kobe Bryant and his young daughter Gianna died in a helicopter crash among seven others. I'm not really a huge fan of basketball, but when I was growing up, my dad used to watch him constantly. I, I, I admired his personality and his extreme drive to always be the best he could be. He eventually retired and he began to write. In 2018, he won an Oscar for a short film and it was very well deserved. I was weirdly trying to cope with his passing, I, I wasn't hugely influenced by him, but he was such a big name in my household because my dad loved him, so naturally I watched him play a number of times. When I watched a short film, I didn't really know what to expect since he's more of an athlete and I think this was at least one of his first attempts at writing, so I kinda had low expectations and boy, I, <laughs> I was wrong. Kobe Bryant's short film, Dear Basketball, is the best short film of the entire decade. Seriously, I need to reiterate one more time that I'm not a huge fan of basketball, so, you know, this didn't, uh, this shouldn't have appealed to me as much as it did, but his short film was so touching and inspirational, and it just, the way it, the like the reason why it works so much is because it's it doesn't just apply to basketball. It's just a general message to people, to the to, to kids growing up feeling inspired by something and wanting to explore it more. And and for me, that's writing and, and filmmaking. That's that's what I kind of at least I feel like I wanna do. I've I've always loved it ever since I was a I was a kid and this short film really articulates what it's like to to want something so badly and, and love it and, and your your drive and passion for it and um, I, I can't fully relate to the whole thing because the other message and this is about uh, moving on um, after exploring your passion that you should try to move on to something else and, and never forget what what got you up to the point that you're at. Um, I'm a pretty like a, I'd say younger guy I'm still trying to find out what I want to do but um, I don't know, the short film has really, really great advice, which someday I'll, I'll really need that. And in this way, it's in just four minutes, he crafted something that can relate to everyone in such an emotion, emotionally resonant way. I haven't seen an abundance of short films this past decade, but the ones I have seen, well, none of them really impacted me in such a way. I, I mean, like, four minutes. Just four minutes. It did a lot for me. I'm not just saying this as a way to pay respects just because um, of the tragedy, and I'm not, I'm not just saying this just so, um, you know, just just because of that. Be but the short film is, is super innovative, creative, touching, and really inspiring. There are so many well-made transitions, fast-flowing actions, very well-written, and this is extremely hard to do in a handmade animation, but it's just so fluid and realistic looking. The way they crafted this, the sheer amount of thought and art put into this is truly amazing. Kobe Bryant was truly just a king man. Such a tragic incident and he'll never be forgotten. I really, really wish um, he was able to write more. Uh, definitely after um, the whole short film is about him uh, retiring from basketball and what got him into doing it and that he was going to move on to filmmaking and um, I don't know it's just his, one of his first ever written things he immediately won an Oscar he's just why is he got to be good at everything man Heart can take the pounding my mind can handle the grind but my body knows it's time to say goodbye and that's okay I'm ready to let you go but, uh, um, yeah, but definitely he'll continue to inspire people and um, truly, truly lost a legend. Sorry for the really like sad and traumatic video, but it's, it's kind of just it's days like this that really kind of make me contemplate and appreciate life all the more. The short film really added so much depth after today and it's extremely sad that you know, that tragedy had to have added more depth to it, but I don't know. The point is that he made something really impactful. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and definitely go check out this short film if you were among the few who uh, haven't seen it yet and um, I sincerely hope you guys have a great day. I know it's tough right out there um, right now but uh, 2020 be needing some good news man it hasn't been it's great right now with the Australia fires, the World War Three rumors, the coronavirus, and now this. It's just uh, <laughs> not off to a great start, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good time. Enjoy life. It's um, Life is too short to, to, to get bogged down, to be discouraged, or um, you have to keep moving. You have to keep going. Put one foot in front of the other, smile, and just keep on rolling. You know, and uh, that's that's what really is, this camp is about.